Good morning, guys. Today we're doing a change out. Change this old return grill, 20 by 20. It's too small. I'm upsizing it. Old Amana air handler. This is right when Goodman acquired Amana. But you can still see that this was before Goodman put their name on it. It still said Amana Heating and Air Conditioning out of Fayetteville, Tennessee. It's a three ton from 04. It's in rough shape. You can see this is the evaporator. Let me stand it up. There's the evaporator. She's nice and clogged up. Uh, the return flex was too small. And you can see the duck board. They just had the flex tied onto the air handler. They didn't have a return box and it was sucking in air from the attic. So we're going to put a return plenum and upsize the flex from 16 to 18. This is a three ton. We're going back with a three and a half. Three tons a little small for this house. The load calls for just a little over three, like three point two tons or something like that but I decided to go with a three and a half because it's calling for a little over three and with Louisiana heat he can use three and a half all right guys here's the condensing unit and the of prestige it's a straight cool electric heat was their primary source of heat we're going back with a heat pump This unit's not in terribly bad shape. Uh, there's the location. They had it really close to the house. Pads sunk in the ground. I'm gonna drop a new pad uh, and bring it this way towards the camera, away from the house a little more. Just extend my my line set that's right there. I'll just extend that out a little further. The whip should reach. If not, we'll put a new one. All right, guys, there's the new Hillmore vacuum pump. We will be testing it out today on this change out. Uh, while I'm waiting on my supplier to get here with the equipment, I'm going to go ahead and get it ready. I'm going to go ahead and put the oil in there that honey, uh, honey well, shoot, uh, that Hillmore has sent me. I haven't even done that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put the oil in there and just have it ready to go. And we're gonna we're gonna try the old Hillmore pump out today. All right, guys, we got the ICP air handler set in place here in the attic. Got a new pan with heat stands. Uh, a lot of guys ask about these. There's the information on it. There we go. There's the information on those stands that I use. I use two of them, one in the front. They work really nice, they get you good height. And what you wanna do is, is kinda of shove them in a little bit so your doors will lip. Hook up the supply, hook up a return plenum. Replace that flex from 16 to 18, and we're gonna start rocking and rolling. All right, check out the condenser. Hey, old man. Hey. You know what you're doing? I'm on my own. <laughs> you still remember how to do that? Uh-uh. Look who I got installing the unit, y'all. I just. I just installed them one time. <laughs> you got your dryer in the right way? Mm, no, but I'll give me an ink pen. I'll draw another arrow. <laughs> and we'll face it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's coming together, y'all. Getting the condenser hooked up. We're, it won't be too much longer, and then we'll show y'all the Hillmore vacuum pump. Hey, guys, I'm getting the Hillmore pump set up, getting ready to pump a vacuum. Daddy's done brazing in the condenser. Uh, this, I thought they were two three-eighths ports, but this one's three-eighths, this one's half-inch. Same thing as my JB, so I'm going to have to go take uh, 
my reducer off and put it on there before we can start this. Well guys, I can honestly say that I'm very impressed with the Hillmore vacuum pump. We're down to 135 microns already. It's a 5 CFM pump, but it I mean, it pulls just as good, if not better, than that uh, JB7CFM that I have. Probably a little better, to be honest, a little faster. So, uh, pretty dang impressed with this pump. Alright guys, we have the ICP up and running. Superheat's a little low, probably going to have to recover some charge. But other than that, it came out really nice. 
the Hillmore vacuum pump was supreme. It did a great job. So I was very impressed with that. So I'm going to sit here with the charge. Our target superheat is 18. We're running a piston on the indoor. So uh, sit here with it and let it run a few more minutes and probably have to get my cylinder out and take a little bit of gas out. All right, guys, here's the air handler. All done. Drains piped in. They had, that's the box that goes down to the return chase for the filter. They just had a piece of 16 inch flex coming off of it and going straight on the air handler. So I put a two foot return plenum Took a piece of 18 inch flex, made a long loop, and just came back around into the box. Uh, the reason I made that long loop like that is because if I would have went from that box to that box, my flex would have been so short, it would have been hard to work with. I don't even know if I'd have been able to work it good. And another reason that I did it is because when you make that long loop like that and you come back around, it makes the system very, very quiet. The customer can't even hear the blower motor running because when we turned it on for her, she asked if it was running. So she cannot hear the blower running, which is good. All new drain pan, float switch, SS2, pan switch, trap, vented after the trap, not before. Came out great. All right, guys, that's it. She's done. Old comfort maker's cooling well. A piece of conduit right there. We had to run a low voltage wire. They only had a tube conductor coming out here, but I don't think it looks too bad. We dressed it up with some gray conduit. But that'll do it for this one. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.